Good morning guys, this is Dan and me and a buddy Lansy. We're uh, decided to make the most of this beautiful winter weather. We've uh, taken his canoe out and we're just exploring some of the uh, back creeks of the Hawkesbury River just north of Sydney. I don't think we'll need these. Look how shallow it is. The canoe down the creek, mate. Hard going. That's <laughs> alright. We're stuck. Again. So we decided to um, take advantage of that. Enjoy our homemade Sanger. Just come to a section, really nice section between all these boulders, and um, it's actually got really deep through here, which is nice. But looking up ahead, I think we're at the end of the creek. It turns into a rapids here, so we might have to find somewhere along the banks along here to, um, yeah, set up camp. So we've um, pulled up as far as we can go on this creek. Beautiful spot, though. It's, um, Really nice, calm rapids. Just going for a bit of a scout at the top of all these rapids. See if we can find a little uh, little spot to camp. I think we found the perfect spot if we had a tent and we're hiking. But I don't know if um, it's going to be a super good location for hammocks. And the fact that we've got a canoe uh, might just make it a bit, a bit trickier to get to this place. Just come up to this awesome little bend, just shadowed in this um, amazing cliff. And there's a bit of a clearing in there, and I think this could be promising. Really flat, lots of trees around, and a nice, uh, a nice bank to pull up and get all that gear out. So here's the camp. I think we're pretty cozy. I'm loving this location actually. So nice clearing. It's out of the wind because we've got cliffs all around us. Beautiful bracken ferns everywhere. And we've got the river just there. There's a beautiful kitchen. That was this afternoon's effort. All right, so that's my little home. Got the underquilt there. Um, yeah, so it should keep me pretty cozy. This is some fat wood I got here, and it's um, pine that's got a really high resin content, uh, which is, the, the resin is um, flammable. So I'm just shaving off small uh, little strips, or little curls, and uh, if that takes a spark, it should, you know, hold a flame for long enough for me to, to get a fire happening.
Let's see if we can get a good share of sparks using my uh, custom giant handmade uh, fire steel. See if we can get this blazing. The back side of the, the saw in a Leatherman Wave actually works as a real good striker. It's probably the best striker I've ever used. As you can tell, it's all burnt on the back. I use it so much. It's fine, you get a real good shower. There we go. All right. See if we can turn this into something. That is definitely the question that um, divides our nation, puts a lot of stress between different people. The best shape biscuit, in my opinion, goes chicken, barbecue, pizza, and then disregard all others. And if you don't know what shape biscuits are, link in the, in the description. <laughs> So what I've found here is the um, ground super soft. So what I've done with the uh, trusty little hatchet here is just bashed off a bunch of um, vampire stakes. I just drive them into the ground so they will hold really, really well. Um, just a little, little, camp, little camp tip for you. So I think we're gonna uh, get that grill plate on there now. The coals are looking pretty good gonna throw some corn and some potatoes wrapped in foil just gonna chuck them straight in the coals like that I've actually never cooked corn like this I've got no idea if it's even gonna work but I figured that leaving the husk on is gonna protect the corn enough so the husk will burn but the corn will just cook we've got some broccolini and some snow peas I think that corn's gonna work out alright. It's blackened all the husk and um, hopefully that's really cooking that corn. Potatoes will be right, I'm just gonna obliterate them in the coals. The pot hanger is holding up. Um, and it looks like she's well and truly boiled, so I'm going to take that off and sit it aside. I threw a bit of um, rosemary from the garden under the steaks as I'm cooking, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway. Beautiful. They are perfectly cooked. experimental corn on the cob. Be interesting to see how this works. They smell amazing actually. Can you smell that? Mm. Look at its husk. Look at that. Now that's a good meal.
just been collecting some bush spinach down by the, uh, the bank. I'm going to cook some of this up with breakfast. Now, an important thing to note about this plant is it does contain like a really mild toxin, so you have to cook it if you're going to eat a lot of it. Looking forward to this, looks good. Yeah, that halloumi's cooked up really nicely. Not bad. We got our damper, bit of cream cheese, and some smoked salmon. Beautiful combo. As beautiful as this place is, it's a bit sad to see how polluted the water is. There's just this film on the water of just this gross looking pollutant, and there's just garbage and plastic everywhere. This is only the bigger pieces, there's so much little stuff. I'm running out of hands to pick it off, it's just disgusting. Like, you've got to be more conscious of this.
All right, guys, the uh, kangaroo stew's been on there for a couple hours, so um, I think it's ready to hook in. Mm. Oh, that's sensational. It's soft as, it's really beautiful, yeah, it's really nice. Come together well. Time for brekkie. morning just had brekkie and um, yeah we're gonna pack up and try and hit the hit the water before the tide gets too low and we get stuck like we did on the way up That's all from us. Thanks for watching. See you next time.